But before you can go ahead with solving that puzzle, you first off have to know the image at the end of this board in front of you. Now the very first task has been given to our 18 contestants. They have to make this jungle their home. <laughs> All right, before I say anything on this video, let me first of all put this disclaimer out there that whatever I say on this video is my frank opinion, all right? And um, this is kind of like a much requested video because people have been sending me messages as well, like, oh, Glory, are you seeing what's going on on the show? The show is not really exciting, the show is boring. And to be very frank with you all, guys, I have to say that somehow the boredom is beginning to creep on me. Like I'm literally watching the show and I'm yawning and I'm wondering, you know, oh my God, what's going to happen next? Oh my God. <laughs> and the worst part of it all is the eviction part, the eviction process. Guys, there's a whole lot. All right. So basically what I'll be doing on this video is I'll be pointing out some things that the organizers of the show could work on to give us a more thrilling experience of the show. All right. Um, I don't know if the show has already been recorded, like if the entire season of the show has already been recorded and what we are watching is just a pre-recorded version, I don't know. I don't know the format of their production, right? But I'm just gonna go ahead and say it anyways. So as you're watching, if you have yours, please just go ahead and drop it all down in the comment section below and let's start. And you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And the tea of this video is all about measures that can be taken to make the Gouda Ultimate Search experience more exciting, more thrilling for us, the viewing audience. All right. Um, as I said earlier, I do not know if what we are watching right now as the show is the pre-recorded version you know if the show has already been pre-recorded and it has ended and we are just watching events that happened already i don't know but let's just go ahead and talk about it anyway so the first things first is the names of the contestants the confusion with the names of the contestants guys um you agree with me that Many reality TV shows that we've seen, Big Brother Ninja, of course, the most popular in Africa, um, Nigerian Idols, The Voice Nigeria, many others like that, MTN Yellow Star Show, so many like that. You agree with me that um, there is one name that the contestants or the housemates are known for, and that is the name that they tell the organizers that they want to be addressed with. In the course of the show a contestant's name might be their birth name or it might be their brand name that they want to promote whichever one but you find out that when you watch reality tv shows like the, um, like this um there's just one name that a contestant or a participant is known for but sadly i've come to notice that with this season of gouda ultimate search most of the contestants they have multiple names i mean guys it is so confusing especially for someone like me whose job is to you know watch the show and come on here on my channel to review the show it's so confusing take for instance the first person that was evicted i know him as omoye because that is also the name that the voiceover narrator addresses him as but then I think the, his fellow contestants, they address him as something else. Is it Yinka or one thing, one thing? I mean, guys, the names are very, very confusing. And it's quite unusual for someone like me because usually um, when I start watching or gaining interest in any TV show, reality TV show, I ensure that, first of all, I get on a first name basis with all the participants, you know, including the host, whoever is involved in the show. I make sure I learn their names. But you see, this isn't of good at ultimate search. It is so exhausting. Like, I am finding it difficult to get used to their names. And guys, it's tedious because the contestants, they are not helping matters. In fact, everybody on the show is not helping matters. I mean, on different occasions, I've heard the, the taskmaster and the host addressing the contestants with different names then when they are gone and the contestants are in their camps you will hear their fellow contestants addressing one another with different names now last night um two people were evicted Mikel and gerald now Mikel, when his fellow contestants are addressing him as Mikel on the screen when he is being interviewed you will see his name mfon etim i think and then you're wondering like who the hell are you like who the hell is this person so guys 
it's very very confusing and this is an appeal to the organizers of the show if the show is not pre-recorded already please something needs to be done all right if a contestant is known as Mikkel in the jungle please let us see Mikkel on the screen and please let the host and the taskmaster address such a contestant as Mikkel because there's too much confusion already I mean sometimes people ask me who is this person who is this person? I'm not like I don't know if you ask me now who I go ask so it's very very confusing so that you know the show is enjoying so that there's a free flow of information at the moment be very honest because of the confusion with the names trust me it's it's killing the fun for me names are very very important for us to be able to identify each contestant by who they are now my second observation that's actually causing me a lot of confusion as well is the job roles of the taskmaster and the host that's kuni remi and toke makinwa you're just wasted there is a punishment for that no unruly behavior will be tolerated in this camp. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Your taskmaster is greatly upset with you for spilling some food. Now, guys, to be very frank with you, I thought I had an idea of what these two people would be doing separately. But when the show started, there was a lot of confusion on that very first day that the taskmaster and the host were addressing the contestant. It was as if there was a, a conflict of job roles. It was as if Toki Makinwa was doing much of the talking and then Kule Remi was just standing there as an assistant watching. And I'm sorry to say but the memories I have of Buddha Ultimate Search is not that, right? It felt as though the taskmaster was originally the one in charge inside the jungle with the contestant. So the introduction of the host now guys, I was expecting an entirely different job role for Toke Makinwa, but it seems as though their job roles are kind of intertwined and it's very, very confusing. And don't get me wrong, this is not me saying that the organizers should not have given Toke Makinwa a chance, no. I mean, it's always interesting and fun and spicy to try new things when it comes to shows like this, you know, just to add more flavor to it. And I love the fact that Toke Makinwa is an added personality to the show. I did a video about that. I'm super excited. However, let's take Big Brother Niger for instance, okay? When we see a buka on Sunday, what happens? What comes to our mind is, okay, eviction is about to take place or something you know information but mostly eviction is about to take place or the announcement of the winner is about to take place right now for good ultimate search we know that the taskmaster is that person that dishes out you know task to the contestants now what should we know to kimakinwa for that is the question what should we know her for now the first time the contestants appeared at the place of the talking drum we saw kunli remy with them you know, he was talking to them. He told them that um, their host had gone to consult with the Council of Elders to bring information about who or what or if there was going to be an eviction that night. And then the next day, we saw Toki Makinwa, Kule Remi was not there. And then I was wondering, like, okay, first of all, who the hell is supposed to be carrying out the evictions of the show? I mean, it's been a while. I think I missed out on the final seasons of Good Ultimate Search before the show you know, took a break in 2014. So I might not remember what must have happened, but somebody help me out. You know, what I'm trying to say is we need defined, clearly defined roles for the taskmaster and the host. If Kune Remy is supposed to be attending to the contestant when it comes to task and instructions, let it be so. If the Kemakinwa is meant to be carrying out evictions, if she is the one that is meant to be addressing the contestants at the place of the talking drum, let it be so. We don't want confu um, confusion, right? Already, I am confused. And now this brings me to the mode of announcing evictions. Guys, to be very honest, this is the one that is very, very annoying. Not even confusing. Annoying. The journey ends here. Wow. You are now fitted for the data search. Now, the beauty and the spice and the thrill of every TV show, reality TV show or not, is the way a contestant or a housemate is evicted from the show. There's something called background music or soundtrack or whatever, you know, but you see that music or that sound that brings about the mode of seriousness, the mode of danger 
you know, brings about the vibe of fear that, oh my God, something huge, something crazy is about to happen. That is one of the things that actually brings a lot of conversations to the show about evictions especially. For Big Brother Ninja, once we hear that... All right, guys, we've come to the tipping point. And for the last time this season... Jesus! I have the final votes. You know, everybody is like, hey, Ebuka wants to kill us. Ebuka wants to give us hypertension. Ebuka, oh, please mention the name so that we will all rest. Same thing applies to Nigerian idols. Once Ike starts that music, you know that, hey, something is about to happen. You know, for all TV shows, all reality TV shows, home and abroad, you see that song, that soundtrack that they play when they're about to eliminate a participant from the show, guys. It is that thing that brings the thrill. It brings that anticipation. It brings that expectation, you know? It makes people more invested in the show. But we go to Ultimate Search. This is, they've done three evictions now. And to be very frank with you all, for every time that Okimaki One mentions the name of an evicted contestant, I'm kind of still confused. It's as if nothing has actually happened. I'm still looking at my TV screen like this, waiting for the action to take place. And guys, be very honest, it's very bland. And it's really, really pissing me off because everything about the show, the setting, the geographical location, the, the, the soundtrack, you know, the na na, the na na, the na 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 na. Oh my God, guys, everything is beautiful. I love it. I love the graphics, guys. Oh my God, go to Ultimate Search this year, they came prepared. Kinda, I or so I thought. But when it comes to evictions, I'm sorry, but the show this season has one of the deadest eviction process ever. It's not sweet. As a matter of fact, I, this is the first time I am watching a TV show and I am not looking forward to the eviction day at all. Because in my mind, I just know that, mm, same old, same old. It's not even going to be sweet, sir. You know, so please, if the show is not pre-recorded, I mean, if they've not already prepared this weekend's episode, can they please look for something? I mean, it's not too late. Can they please look for one danger sound or just look for one exciting soundtrack, you know, to announce evictions, you know, to make it more thrilling and exciting, to give us an, a rich experience, actually, of the show. Now, my fourth observation is the Jungle Diaries. When I heard that there was going to be an introduction of some sort of Jungle Diaries for this season, guys, I was super excited. I was looking forward to us hearing the minds of the contestants on Thursdays. But sadly, I have watched the Jungle Diaries twice now and... I'm sorry, what I'm seeing basically is a recap of the entire show that we have watched on Saturday and Sunday, which is okay, you know, for the benefit of those people that actually missed out. But then I'm asking myself, is that really necessary? Because already, I think on um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we already have recaps of the show. And then Thursdays, that is meant for Jungle Diaries. We should be hearing what the contestants have to say about their experience so far in the jungle. You know, we should be hearing from them, not hearing recaps all over again of the show. I mean, the last Jungle Diaries I saw was um, Tokimaki were talking to Bob Manuel. I think he was the first ever host or taskmaster of the Gouda Ultimate Search show, right? So I was expecting much. I was expecting a lot more. Um, the Kimaki were talking to you know the contestants. Let us just know about their experience because the show only airs originally, officially, Saturdays and Sundays. So Monday to Friday, we don't know what's happening with the contestants. The only thing we know that's happening is their task. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is episode six. So hopefully they would change the style in subsequent episodes of the jungle diaries but guys that is just my observation i just feel like it's not bringing that excitement to the show at all if we are not hearing the mind of the contestants and then finally just to quickly address the conversation that's ongoing on social media about okay while wearing heavy makeup on set or in the jungle not on set but yeah the jungle is also some sort of set guys listen leave toki makiwa alone all right she's a brand in her own right she's selling herself she's selling her brand and if she chooses to wear makeup to the jungle hey guys i don't really see anything wrong in it so i don't know why people are making it a big deal and ignoring the fact that 
well she's actually trying in doing what she's she knows how to do best so i don't see that as an issue and people should just give her a break all right as a matter of fact let's just celebrate that at least a female is in the jungle doing what she's doing yes Genevieve and Naji has tried doing stuff before and we appreciate the organizers for bringing back a female again so guys just give her a break okay um that said this is where i'm going to end this video i don't want to talk too much I'm, as i observe more then i will let you all know but for now these are most of the things that i have observed about the show that is actually pissing me off <laughs> so just go ahead and let me know yours in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah have an amazing amazing new week and happy new month yes happy new month bye <laughs>